the time has finally come. We're ready to actually start putting wallpaper on the wall. Now I'm going to use a level to draw my level line because I want my paper to be straight. Um, also a couple little things you might want to do. Um, I always find it very good to put a drop cloth on the, on the uh, floor so that you protect your surface. Um, have a trash can available for your scraps and um, sometimes even an e-pad makes it easier. Okay, so I'm going to take my level over to the mark that we made. Remember, we knew we were going to start here and we circled it. So I'm going to take my level. Now you know how the level works. Just make sure both of your both of your bubbles are lined up completely in the middle. I'm going to draw a light line down the wall. You never want to draw too heavy a line just in case you have a white background paper. You don't want to see any smudges or anything. And I'm going to continue drawing my level line. Okay, now I'm ready to take my first piece to the wall. I've been booking my piece. It's booked the appropriate time. And it's all ready. Now a couple of things I'm going to need is a sponge. To wash excess paste off the front as well as to wipe down the seams and to wipe down the woodwork. Okay, gently take your paper, unfurl it like so. Remember we booked it. Now get up on your ladder. Using, I use my tray on my ladder to help with this so that the paper doesn't fall too quickly to the floor. Now remember the flower that we wanted as our top. So we're going to place the flower. But notice when I'm moving this around to make sure it's against my level line, I'm not stretching it here. I am moving the entire piece. This is called slip. And what gives you the slip is not only the activator and the paste on the back of the paper, but also the primer when we primed our walls. Okay. Now I'm going to take my smoothie and I'm going to smooth it to the wall. Gently, I'm not going to go crazy. You don't want to push all the paste out, but you want the bubbles out. Notice I'm going to, I do it in like a sweeping motion. All the way down. Now, at this point, I'm going to cut my top. Notice that the blade is always between my knife and the paper. You would never cut like this, for instance. You always make sure that your blade, your trimming tool, is protecting your wall covering. Wipe any excess paste away off your moldings. Always wash your strip down as you go. Just makes it neater. You're not going to forget to wash a piece, to go back and wash a piece. Now I'm trimming against my door frame, like so. Again, washing any paste off, and again, 
completely washing the strip as I go down. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Now, I need to make some relief cuts around my thermostat. And what I'm going to do is use scissors for that. Gently take scissors. Your back plate is going to cover a lot of this. So what you want to do is just cut out for the wire. Like so. Now, make sure. Again, pull away so that instead of moving, just stretching the strip. You can take a sponge or a rag. Just gently smooth it down before you use your plastic smoothie. Now we're going to smooth this down. I'm going to trim against my door frame. Again, always have your trimming tool between the paper and your blade. And we wipe any paste off. We gently wash down our wipe down our seam. Okay. Now unfold the back other part of the paper. Align it to your level line. Gently smooth it into place. Now we'll use your smoother to smooth it down. Not excess pressure, just in a gentle sweeping motion like this. All the way down to your baseboard. Taking care to do it gently so that you don't tear anything. Okay, and now we're going to finish trimming along the door frame. Now, it's time to change our blade. Change your blades a lot. That will give you so much more professional job. That's one of the big mistakes that people make when they first start to install their wall covering is they, that they don't, they kind of skimp on blades. This is one area you do not want to skimp on. Take our sponge, we'll wash this down. Beautiful. Now we're ready for our next piece.